For decades, the Regents exam has been required to graduate high school in New York, but now the future of the standardized test is very much up in the air. That's right. Many say they're not an accurate reflection of what a student can do. Linda Schmidt has more on what would happen if the state gets rid of Regents exams. We should not lower the standards just because some kids cannot do well on it. Parent Chian Kwok is in one camp when it comes to requiring Regents exams for students. Juliet Eisenstein is in the other camp. I think that standardized testing is not the way to go moving forward. High school students in New York must pass Regents exams in order to graduate. But the controversial testing mandate has created widespread debate about whether the standardized tests are an accurate reflection of what students have learned in school. They're not getting any additional academic benefits from passing the Regents exams. Eisenstein is one of 64 members on a special commission, which is currently evaluating the future of Regents exams in New York. The commission will present its findings to the Board of Regents in November. That is ahead of schedule. The original plan was to present the findings next year. Eisenstein is a lawyer for Advocates for Children, a nonprofit. She says the standardized testing has led to an increase in dropout rates among low income and students of color. Regents exams do not better prepare students for life after high school. You should address the reasons why uh, if they're having trouble meeting the standards. But to uh, try to graduate students for the sake of graduating when they can't do math and they can't read or write that's a disservice to them. But at this point, it appears as though the special commission is leaning toward eliminating the regents' exams in order to graduate and instead combining the exam grades with the students' other coursework grades from the school year. It seems to me that there is wide support for a different right a different way forward um, to really rethink how to best prepare students to graduate high school. It's a very dangerous path that we've been on. And this this must be stopped. Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.